Rollercoin Season 11 Crypto Night Hodley Night is now here. Let's check it out on that Tico guy. Stay tuned. Tis the season to be jolly on Rollercoin with Season 11. Let's check it out. On my screen here, you can see my homeroom. I'm just going to jump into the store where we can go straight to the season pass and we can see season 11 Crypto Night Hodley Night, which is going to be running for approximately 62 days. It was a bit more than 62 days since this started yesterday in the afternoon Central Europe time, of course, but it is now live and in full swing. So the first thing I really want to get through is the XP points. So the XP points are no longer 500 XP points. There are now 400 XP points that you need to pass each and every level that you can see here. It is the same system as there was in Retrobit 1010 where you have the free pass and the gold pass. And if you purchase the gold pass, which costs 100 RLT, then you will be getting two rewards at the same time when clearing each level. So for example, for the first level, I will be getting this 100 giga hash per second miner here and the 459 tera hash miner here, both at the same time when purchasing the gold pass. Click on activate pass here to purchase that and you can purchase that for 99.95. You'll get full access to all season rewards, including, including exclusive miners, but you won't get all the rewards instantly. To get all rewards instantly, that's currently costing 549.9 RLT, 550. RLT to get everything um, from the season in one go. So that's pretty much what you can do here. And there are a total of, let's see, 30 levels, okay? There are a couple of powerful miners here at 717 terahash as well. And you can get that a few times. So you've got that like four times, I think. So you can actually merge that twice and then merge it again as well. So um, be sure to keep an eye out for these because they are quite powerful and you can get quite a significant amount of power from them as well, especially if you actually start getting double the rewards because double the rewards will obviously give you more power and even potentially RST and racks and things like that as well that you might not get from just one of the free passes only, okay? So here you can see there's an eight cell rack here as well. Um, there's a couple of event hats and a couple of other miners, quite a bit of RST there to get. And there's a new room skin as well that you can get at level nine, which is obviously a Christmas theme there as well. So be sure to check those out. So that's number one. So here in order to rank up those XP points, you can complete these daily quests here. You can also get XP points through progression events when there are progression events going on as well so be sure to stay tuned for those because there will always be a couple of progression events uh probably one every week that's what rollercoin has been doing lately so probably a progression event each week and there will be these xp points in those progression events if rollercoin keep the same trend that they have always been keeping lately as well win 40 games the game amount has now decreased. It's no longer 50, it's 40. You get a reward of 15 XP when completing 40 games each and every day. You can make any 10 merges in the game. It can be any merges you want. It could be parts, it could be miners, okay? It doesn't always have to be just miners. You get five XP there. If you do 10 of them in a day, these are daily quests, then you will be able to get another five there. If you join the Rollercoin Discord server, if you've already joined the Rollercoin Discord server, if you just click on start, then you can just close that down. If I click start and just close it down because I've already joined, then I've already claimed that right there just now, just by clicking that. Invite one friend, you can invite your friends and also get 20 XP. If you haven't joined Rollercoin, of course, I'm just going to put that out there right now. You can join Rollercoin with my referral link down in the description below this video. And not only will you be helping me to get those 20 XP as well, but you yourself will be getting 1000 Satoshi for joining with my referral link to get you going, okay? So you can start off 
your mining a crypto adventure on Rollercoin with 1000 Satoshi, which will help you to, for example, purchase a rack or maybe a small miner as well. So be sure to click my link in the description below this video for that. You can also just win the daily games today at the time of recording this video. It's win 10, 10 games in CoinClick and 10 games in Cryptonoid. When doing those two, you're already getting 20 games out of the way, so you're going to be halfway for the next one as well. And you'll be getting 10 XP in total for those two that games that you do. So basically here, you need to level up around three times and a bit more, okay? So you need to go through the first, second and third difficulties and then you'll, you'll need to play just another game to get those total 10 because you've got three games per level difficulty, which will be nine when you're doing three of those, okay? So then you'll just need to play an extra game to get that 10. If you do that for, for both games, in this case it's Cryptonoid and CoinClick, then you will be able to get those 10 XP points by playing just another extra game when you're at level difficulty 4 on each of them, okay? And that will give you, like I said, halfway to the 40 games mark, which you can now actually achieve also with a nice brand new game called Hamster Climber. Hamster Climber is new. If we start that up, you can see that right here. So let me just leave that in windowed mode. So basically you just click when it comes green on the circle, okay? So time it and that's it. it is, the hamsters will start climbing up the rock. Obviously I'm here at currently at difficulty level two. So they're spinning a bit faster than they did in level one. Imagine at level 10, they'll start probably spinning like a tornado, okay? Game power. I like to let this go up now because obviously there are batteries to be won. So far I haven't won one battery while waiting. Let's see this time. Okay, at least I got something. But um, you can obviously skip through that bit like I've shown you to get through the games faster and just click on the game section again and that will just bring you back to this page and you will be able to continue. Don't need to wait for that bar if you want to forfeit these rewards that you can see right here. Okay, so that is a great new addition to Rollercoin and I hope that there will be more games. They're coming soon, hopefully. I know they've been like that for ages now, but hopefully Rollercoin have some more games up their sleeve for us to be able to play and we can gain even more points in a single day and more power as well. So Lambo Rider Miami is still on. This is a very powerful game at the moment. Okay, you can get like loads of power from it and I think there is another week where you can get a lot of power from all of the games. It's times two power for playing each of the games than it normally would be. Token Blaster again at 2.5. Here I'm at level difficulty three on that one. Uh, level difficulty three on Lambo Rider Miami. That's giving me almost five terahash per game that I am playing at minimum, okay? Because then that will start going up with each level that I increase as well. So that is almost five terahash right there and I'm only at difficulty level three, okay? For Hamster Climber, it started at around 750 points, I believe, or 800, something like that. I'm at difficulty level two and it's 990 points at the moment, almost one terahash per game that I am playing there. So you can quickly rise in power. Just remember that the power is temporary for the games that you are playing, okay? So this is pretty much the new season 11, Kryptonite, Holiday Night. You can click on more details here as well to see how you can activate those passes that I've just shown you. Just remember that you need to click claim when you actually, actually get one of these, okay? So if I'm currently on the free pass, here I'm going to have the button claim once I hit that 400 XP mark. You have to come here and claim them. Obviously you still need to come to this section anyway to claim the daily quests because it's going to be the same for the daily quests. The only exceptions on the daily quests where you don't need to click on the claim button is when you actually do things like join the Rollercoin Discord server or maybe um, subscribe to their YouTube channel and things like that because that is just gonna come automatically, but for the rest of them, you need to actually click on claim. Open any lucky case will give you 15 XP, so I'm just gonna go on that, 
any lucky case. So uh, in, if I just want to get the XP, I'm going to go for the cheapest one. Buy the box, buy, and let's see what we're going to get here. All right, it's not going to be too much. It's two, at least I only lost one RLT there, so no big deal, okay? Um, so I'm just going to go back now. You have to go back again to the season pass. And now I have to click on that claim button that I was speaking about earlier. So be sure not to forget those before the time runs out. Otherwise, everything will be reset here and you'll lose your chance to get those rewards that you worked hard for. Okay, there are a couple of tasks that you can complete as well, like earn half an RLT for completing tasks on the task wall and that will give you 25 XP. You can exchange one or more RLT from any crypto. So when converting from example, Solana in my case, because that was, that's what I'm currently uh, acquiring on Rollercoin at the moment. If I want to exchange an equivalent of one RLT from that Solana or any other crypto, then that's gonna reward me as well with 25 XP. It's just gonna help me get through these levels even faster and hopefully build. Now, if you decide to actually purchase the um, one of these passes, like for example, the gold pass, and you're, let's say, at level three when you do it, you're still gonna get the ones that you completed before. So it's like previous seasons, it's not like you're gonna lose out on the ones just because you didn't do it from level one. So no matter at what time you activate the pass, if you're at level three, level four, whatever level you're on, you're still gonna get the ones that you've already completed as well, okay? So you're not gonna lose out on those. So that is important to remember as well. I think these are pretty much the main changes. I don't think there were any new loot boxes, but there are gonna be more surprises and changes coming up. Like I've mentioned in a previous video for season 11, there's gonna be like a medley uh, event as well, and there's going to be that calendar. So stay tuned for those because those will be coming soon as well on Rollercoin and those will give you even more rewards and more potential power that you can earn for this season as well. So I hope that you found this video useful. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do so down below, smash the like button and hit that notification bell to be notified when new videos do come out on my channel. And until next time, take very good care of yourselves and thanks for watching.